Welcome to Mahjong.net. Thank you so much for choosing to join our community of American Mahjong players online. We're excited to have you. This video is going to teach you how to play American Mahjong on our website, Mahjong.net. When you first log in, this is the page you will see. And here you can see your username. I am currently logged in as Mahjong Help. You can see the number of points and or wins. On this section of the page, you see a few steps for getting started. Step one, if you want to learn a little bit more about how to play the game of American Mahjong, click on this link and it will take you to the tutorial at Yellow Mountain Imports, which is fantastic. Step two, you can get some help. We have a frequently asked questions page where you will find lots of answers to some common questions that we receive. You might even learn some tips and tricks on how to play. But finally, if you're just ready to get started, click on Let's Play. The first thing you'll have to do is choose your card. What you will see here is a drop down menu of multiple options here. If you own any of these previous cards and want to play a previous year, you're welcome to do so. Just select it by clicking. If you choose anything other than the most recent card, you're going to see this note here that says a newer card is available please make sure you're selecting the correct one. Choosing the correct card is probably one of the most important things to learn to do from the very beginning. If you select the wrong card, let's say you select the 2021 version, but are playing with the 2022 card in your hand and you declare a Mahjong, but that hand isn't on the 2021 card, the game is going to think that you declared your Maj incorrectly. So be sure to check here and select the card that you intended to play with. You can see that we also have a few other options. The Israel Mahjong League has a couple of recent cards that we have loaded in here for them. If you happen to own one of these cards, you are welcome to play. But we also have our own Mahjong.net starter card that you can purchase from our website if you would like to do so. We are not affiliated with the National Mahjong League or any other American Mahjong League. So for you to be able to play American Mahjong with one of these cards, you must already own it. Once you have selected your chosen card, I'm going to select the most recent NMJL card. Select play. Now I am playing on a computer at the moment, but many of the steps that we are going to talk through are very similar if you're using a tablet device. I will try to point out some of the differences. When you select Just Play, three bots are going to be added to your table automatically. After you've learned to play the game on Mahjong.net, you may want to learn how to create a table that others can join where you can play against actual human beings. There are other tutorials that will show you how to do that. So go check them out if you're interested. On the right side of your screen, you will see Messages. The next tab is Discards. Once we begin discarding, you will see those listed here. And then you can see the card here. Now it will show you the one that you have selected, but again, it's going to indicate that for copyright reasons, we cannot display the card for you. You must own your own card and have it with you to be able to play. Once you're ready, select Start Game. On the bottom is your rack. These tiles are going to be in a random order, just like if you had drawn them from the wall and set up your rack on your own. If you would like for Mahjong.net to automatically sort them for you, select this button where it will sort them by suit, placing all of the cracks together, all of the bams together, all of the dots together. If you would rather that they be sorted by rank, you can select it again, and now you'll see that it's putting them by number. So all of the ones together, I don't have any twos, this is a flower on the far left, the threes together, a four, the fives, etc., and so on. I prefer mine to be sorted by suit. The jokers will always be placed on the far right. If, however, you would rather sort them yourself, it's very easy. Just select the tile by, if you're using a mouse, click and hold and drag to wherever you would like it to go. If you're using a tablet, the concept is the same. Use your finger to touch the tile and continuously touching it, move it to the place that you would like to leave it. I'm going to move my joker back over to the far right for now. So just like in regular Mahjong, we start with the Charleston. I need to select three tiles to pass for my first right. I'm going to select randomly this bird bam, four bam, and my soap. 
past tiles. My three new tiles will automatically be placed on the far right. If I want them to be sorted in using the sort function, I can tell it sort by rank. It's going to put it back in the numbers and then click it again to sort by suit. Now I'm going to select the red dragon, the three bam and a, let's say five crack past tiles. I'm just doing this randomly. I'm not actually playing the game as if I were trying to win. I'm going to select for my first left the east, the south, and the Starbucks or the one dot and past tiles. At this point, you're going to be asked if you would like to continue in the Charleston. You may say yes or you may say no, whichever you select. I will say yes. Now we're at the courtesy pass. You may choose to pass none all the way up to three, just like in a regular courtesy. In this case, I'm going to tell them I just want to pass one and I'm going to pass my south wind. And then the one I've received comes all the way over to the far right. I am Madam East, as you can see right here, so I must discard first. I'm going to select this four dot. Once I have selected it, you'll see that the discard button now becomes available. If I unselect it, you see now the discard button is not available. So you have to select a tile first and then you can play discard. The next player has discarded an eight crack and I get to decide, do I want this or do I not? And I'm going to say no. And at this point, I'm going to come over and select discards so that we can begin to see them piling up. And the other thing I'll point out is that the wall tiles remaining, there's a number here, 97. You'll also see that this bar at the very top is going to go from green at the far right. And as we discard more and more tiles, it's going to slowly turn yellow and orange and red. And at this point, I'm just going to play through this hand and speed it up just so you can kind of see how the game will proceed as if you were playing. Now here's a tile that I might want. Maybe I'm playing a hand that requires some five cracks. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. First I select yes and then it's going to say are you really sure you want to claim this tile and I'm going to say yes. In the off chance that you happen to click yes twice incorrectly, you have the option to return claim discard. If you claimed it in error, you changed your mind, click right there and it'll take it away. However, now I must expose the five cracks. Let's say I'm playing a hand that requires four five cracks. I will select the two in my hand and a joker and say expose tiles. Everything that you have exposed is going to be placed offset to the right of the rest of your rack. Now just like in a regular game, this joker is available if someone else has a five crack to trade. And now I must discard. Now it happened really quickly and you may not have noticed, but Civil Rights traded a five crack for a joker from Mahjong Help. So you'll notice that my joker has now disappeared and is replaced with a five crack. So the joker obviously is no longer available to be selected. Someone else has already claimed it. Now the game is over and Ray Sleater, one of the bots, has won, has declared Mahjong. What will pop up is this results page and you'll see that Ray Sleater receives 25 points for the last hand and I unfortunately have a negative 10 for discarding the winning tile. Oops. <laughs> If you are interested in seeing everyone else's hands to see maybe what they were playing for, select show previous game. And then you can choose from this drop down list which player you want to see their hand. Or maybe you're like me and at the end of a game you want to flip all the wall tiles over and see where was that darn two bam I was looking for. And it's right there. Or maybe you want to have a look at the discarded tiles again and they will be displayed here in the order in which they were discarded. If you want to go back to the results page, say show results. At this point, 
I'm going to close the game and leave the table. Say yes, leave the table. You don't have to, you can choose to continue immediately and just restart the game. But what I want to point out here is that I am playing today as a free member where I get four complimentary games per day. If you are interested in being able to play more than four games per day, check out some of our subscription options and see if something there is right for you. I am going to go ahead and play a few more games just so that I can be sure that I have encountered all of the most common scenarios that you might need to know to be able to play on Mahjong.net. Okay, so here you can see that Barnaby Wild has picked up the five dot I just discarded and has exposed it with two jokers. I happen to have two five dots. Now that it's my turn again, I can choose to trade this joker. How do I do that? Well, I'm going to select the tile that I want to trade and the joker that I'm trading for. And now you'll see the trade joker button has become available. Selecting trade joker exchanges my five dot for their joker, but now I have another one. So let's do it again. I'm going to select the tile that I want to trade and I'm going to select the joker but before I do that, you can see that the trade joker button is grayed out because I haven't selected it yet. Now I select the joker tile and the trade joker becomes available. As long as both of them are selected, the trade joker will become available. You select trade and now I have two jokers in my hand while this player potentially is getting a pure hand. And now it's my turn to discard. Wow, I'm racking up some jokers here. <laughs> that never happens to me. Now, let's say that I have selected a tile that I want to discard and I did it on accident. Let's say I selected this joker and I don't want to discard that joker. I want to keep that joker. How do I unselect it? It's easy, just click it again. So I clicked it to select it, or maybe if you're on a tablet, you touched it with your finger and that selected it. And you want to unselect it, just touch it again or click it with your mouse and that will unselect the tile. And you can go select something else that you intended to discard. If you wanna play again at this exact table, instead of selecting leave game like I did last time, just select reset game. Are you sure you want to end the game? Yes, I'm sure. And we can start again. Let's say this tile that I just drew is exactly what I needed to be able to declare a Mahjong. In that case, I would come up here and select Mahjong. Now it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to expose your hand? And if you select yes, then the game will be over whether you were correct or not. So please do be careful there uh, when selecting yes or no. If you selected the Mahjong button on accident, then select cancel and it will take you back to this screen. If, however, you did it on purpose, select yes. Now, in this case, I clearly did not have a valid Mahjong and the game is telling me that. If you receive this message and you think it's an error, go back and make sure that the card in your hand, the one you're playing with, matches the one that is listed right here. That's a frequent source of Mahjongs being declared invalid. So just double check and make sure that the card you selected matches the card in your hand. If it doesn't match and you want to continue playing but play with the correct card, select close, leave table, say yes, I'm sure I want to leave the table. And then when you restart the next game and you say, let's play or just play, it will again ask you, which card do you want to use? And this would be the place that you can select the appropriate card and then continue. I hope you have found this video helpful and have a great time playing on myjong.net.